Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn the data types in C. So to store or access any data in our program, first we need to define its data type. Suppose we want to use age in our program. So first thing to do is to define its data type. And how do you choose the correct data type? Since we always have a whole number for age, we can choose the integer data type. So we can have values like 20, 25, etc. And what about 20.3? Now you cannot have a decimal number for integer data type. And in some cases, we need to use decimal numbers as well. For example, if you want to use weight in your program, and weight need not necessarily be a whole number all the time. So we need another data type which can have decimal values. For that, we have the floating point data type and you can have values like 52.3 kg, 70.5 kg, etc. Now, let us see some basic data types and their size as per GCC. The size of integer data type is 4 bytes and it is used to store an integer value. Some examples are minus 5, minus 1, 0, 4, etc. Float data type is used to store a floating point number or a number with a fractional part and it is also called as single precision floating point number. The size of float is 4 bytes and these are some examples. Next we have the double or double precision floating point number. It provides more space to store a number. The size of double is 8 bytes and these are some examples. Next we have char data type which is used to store a single character such as a, b, c, star, hash, etc. and it is of size 1 byte. Next we have void data type. It is of size 1 byte and it's an incomplete data type which is mainly used in functions as return type or argument type. An example is void fun. That is, fun will not be returning anything. We will be discussing about void type in later lessons. Hi guys, now you can get a lot of features in the official log 2 base 2 website. Easy registration and login process. And once you log in, you can access a lot of amazing courses. You can watch the visual tutorials. You can see the examples, solve puzzles and finally practice problems, all in a single page. Visit www.log2base2.com where learning is fun and beautiful. And don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this.